YouTube, this is Tim Canadian Comic Hunter coming at you once again with another comic book haul. <laughs> so I know it hasn't been very long, so I just wanted to um, do a haul recently because um, I was kind of bored. It was Sunday, books were stacking up. Uh, I had about a long box full of, well, not a long box. Yeah, I guess a long, two short boxes full of comic books. So uh, I'm going to just knock one of these videos out right now. And I think this is my video for the, my 56th uh, comic haul. Anyways. So, just to get things started, I want to give a couple of shout outs to some YouTubers around the YouTube community. So, I uh, just wanted to give a shout out to Contender. Contender's having a, a crazy prize 400 sub contest. So, if you don't know who Contender is, click on the link below, stop this video right now, go over to his channel, and you know, be part of the community, show some support, and definitely enter this contest. The contender's a, a wicked guy. He's got a great, great collection. So if you want to see some really, really cool books <laughs> and you always want to see what the up-to-date 9.8s and 9.6s and other things that he gets and variants and all these great comics, then go, you know, check out his, uh, check out his, um, his uh, site all the time. I'm telling you, it's totally worth it. I'm always psyched when I see one of contender's hauls. He's a really, really good dude. Uh, I'm not entering this contest again. I'm Canadian, so um, a lot of the times I don't like entering the contests, uh, but I do like giving the shoutouts for them. So it's just because it costs way too much to ship things back and forth. I feel bad for the people, and especially what he's giving away, it, it would cost him. So I'm not going to enter his contest, but I'm promoting for it. All right, so th that's the contender. Check him out. All right, so uh, just some other shoutouts. I wanted to give a shout out to Jim's, Com uh, Jim's Comics. He's at about 1,550 1, subs right now. Crazy. You know, honestly, Jim's, Jim's um, videos are amazing. If you want the most up-to-date, you know, spec-related slash variant slash old-timey goodness comics, Jim's definitely <laughs> the guy to check out. His videos, I have, I have, just like Alex and a few of the other guys in the community, I have, uh, I have notifications every time Jim has uh, his videos. Really awesome, so check him out. Uh, I just want to give another shout out to Drashir's Comics and Things. Uh, he just hit about 500 subs too, so I just want to give him a shout out and uh, you know support him too. He shows a lot of different things like Pokemon cards, he shows comic books, he's all over the spectrum. So d video games, anything Drashir wants to show from his collecting, he collects, you know, and also he makes lightsabers, so you can't go wrong with, uh, you can't go wrong with Dr Dr Drashir's Comics at all. Um, Check out the comic book cartel. They're, they have a video this Sunday night. Uh, really, really good guys. Uh, really enjoy all of the, their channels. A little controversial, a little in your face, but that's the comic book cartel. Hey, they're here to stay, so definitely check out their videos. And last but not least, I want to give a shout out to Walking Jedi. I want to get him. I want to get him over 400 subs. Now I know Jedi hasn't been doing a lot of videos lately, but Jedi's content when he does a video is amazing. So he's not just going to give you a video that's half half assed. He's going to he's going to give you a video that basically shows the best things that he can find and he's a really good guy. So definitely check out Walking Jedi, okay? Um anyways, on with the comic book call. All right. So the first part of this haul is going to consist of books that are I guess variants, uh covers, uh stuff that I had a hard time finding. 
Uh, anyways, so I just wanted to show off this uh, first one. This is Milk and Cheese 666. <laughs> I, I pick this up every time I can find it in really good condition. My copy that I originally had was really trashed. Uh, you can see it's a mostly white cover. I love Milk and Cheese. I think Milk and Cheese is one of the best uh, <laughs> the best comics from the 90s. It's really, really funny. And if you can get some of the lower print run ones, uh, they're worth some money. So definitely some, pick up some Milk and Cheese. So I found that one and I found this one. Uh, I think 666 goes for something. Not really sure, but I just, I just like milk and cheese, so that's why I pick them up most of the time. Um, yeah, so this is the latest thing, milk and cheese. Awesome. Love that cover. I picked this up. This is uh, Street Fighter Malibu 1 first fighting issue. Uh, again, I'm, I love video games. Um, I love video game comics, so that's something I look for when I'm, uh, I'm constantly out. So um, Street Fighter I had a Mortal Kombat, not maybe the first appearance. I don't know even if this is the first appearance of Street Fighter. I don't know what Street Fighter's first appearance is. So um, this was the earliest one that I could find. Uh, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool cover anyways. Street Fighter. One. I got this. Uh, I usually don't show off new books that I pick up because everyone shows them. So I try to keep them out of my videos as much as possible. So, but I, I had to show this one off. This is Bloodborne, the video game variant. I really love this cover. I just, uh, I think it's amazing. Um, I, if you ever played Bloodborne, it's like Dark Souls. It's an extremely hard video game. And it's really confusing the story. So it was nice to actually have a comic book that actually kind of conveys the what the story is about. At least gives you a little more insight into the story. So Bloodborne video game variant. I know it's going for something. So definitely be on the lookout for that one. So this is Jessica Jones. Um, from her, I guess, newest uh, 2015 or 2016 release uh, volume, Jessica Jones uh, number four. And this is a Jeff uh, Dakel cover. Anyways, Dakel's done a couple, I think that's a Dakel or whatever, Dakel. Uh, he's done a couple of uh, really hot covers right now. There's a Thanos uh, number one, uh, one in 25, that's really nice. So. Uh, that's how I kind of came across this guy, and uh, he definitely has some really nice covers. And if you look at this, this one, a lot of these Jessica Jones variant covers, um, I think, fly under the radar sometimes because people don't really uh, aren't on the lookout for it or not collecting it as much. So you can always you can find these one in twenty fives. You can find this. I think this is a one to one variant, but I could be wrong. I don't know. I'm not quite sure. Like I'm just starting to get into variants a little bit. Uh, okay, so this is for my next book. This is Spider-Man Saga number one. So the thing about this, this is a this is a preview um, comic book that came out, and it's a preview comic for 648, The Amazing Spider-Man 648. And uh, there's a rare variant by J. Scott Campbell, which has these, uh, which have which has which which is basically this cover without um, Spider-Man Saga on it. Anyways, so I found this and. Um, didn't get it for very much so uh thought it was kind of cool that it was kind of like a cover swipe of it it's, but it predates i think the rare variant that's out there so i just picked it up anyway so it was just a cool preview magazine it was a uh, back in the day it was free so just a neat j scott campbell anyways uh shirazadaz or da, i can't pronounce that anyways this is another uh this number five uh j scott campbell again uh variant so, uh, yeah, this is a retailer incentive variant, I think. Yep. It's a limited edition. But anyways, there's a bunch of these out there. Pretty cool. I like the mermaids. They're, they're, pretty, they're, pretty, they're pretty awesome. I think I saw this originally in uh, Alfred86's video, like uh, where he was showing off uh, some of this run. So, Anyways, this was a neat book to pick up. I got it for not very, not, not very, it wasn't, didn't cost me too much, so. Gen 13 and uh, Generation X uh, crossover, and it does have the 3D goggles, uh, the 3D glasses. So if you are buying this, make sure that the 3D glasses are in there. Uh, but it just if you look at the side there, it's pretty awesome, man. Just the uh, Brandon Choi, uh, Arthur Adams, and Alex Gardner did the interior stuff on this, so it's pretty awesome. Just a really cool book to own. Um, another another piece for my Campbell collection, so I'm happy about having that. Okay, so De La Thorns, uh, <laughs> De La Thorns, I think that's how you pronounce it anyways, or De La Thorn. Um, anyways, uh, so this is the, the uh, recent, num the number one, I just, I put it in here just to show the differences between now and before. So I, I found the number two finally at an LCS, so I was pretty happy to get that. 
but if you can you can tell there's like a lot of difference in J. Scott Campbell's artwork and how it's changed over the years. Uh, again, not it's not bad. This one, this one's good, and I can see what it, what's the simplicity of it. It's really nice, but I just find there's a lot more going on here, and you know the even the shading's a little bit darker, and it's a little bit more like I don't know. Just you 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 guys can judge yourself if you want. So. Um, yeah, so this is just uh, just an example of Campbell. I just feel Campbell sometimes is dropping his game, you know? All right, so Lady Rawhide number three. This is an Adam Hughes cover. Not gonna show that too long, just in case. Uh, you know how it is with some of those risky um, covers, anyways. Then I got Hack and Slash. Uh, I was just gifted this by, um, uh, by the Doom 143. So this is really cool. I found this finally in the wild, which is neat because uh, it's a book I've been kind of hunting for. So I think it's getting a little hot re recently. There's a B cover also that I'm looking for. It's kind of like a, um, a purple haze to it. I find I like that one more than I like this one. But uh, definitely uh, Hack and Slash, My First Maniac. Really, really awesome uh, Jenny Friesen cover. Okay, so this is a cool one I wanted to talk about. So this is the Mighty Thor number one. It's kind of my little bit of spec, you know, maybe Thor dies in the upcoming movie in Infinity War and is no longer and Jane Foster has to take up the hammer and become another Thor. Man, that would be awesome, but um, probably not going to happen, but just an idea. So I was just going around and I was like, well, you know, since uh, things are, you know, the, the 705 came out, the art germ, there's a 1 in 25 that's super hot. Um, I, went, I went back to the Mighty Thor number one. This is a 1 in 25. This is the Coppel. Um, variant so you know honestly if you check this out up close the, I know this video doesn't do it any justice this is a beautiful cover just a beautiful cover this was a virgin this would be a wicked cover but uh, just 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 that just awesome anyways uh, this one is actually very affordable online so if you can find it definitely pick it up uh, on bay on the eBay it's not that expensive so um, there's a lot of rumors going around about Eternals. Um, I do have a number one of the Eternals, the Jack Kirby run. So I wanted a number one of the Neil Gaiman, John Romita Jr. run. This is the one in 50 variant. Again, I'm not a variant collector. I got this on a really good price. I think I paid 10 bucks for it. So I'm not gonna, you know, it's, I'm not gonna lose sleep over it if it doesn't go up in value or not. Just a really, really cool cover, uh, sketch variant. So. Definitely be on the lookout for some of the Eternal stuff. You never know what happens with the movies. Black Panther has been extremely hot. I had a whole bunch of Black Panther books I was gonna show, but I decided to just kind of cut it out because a lot of people were showing those J. Scott Campbell run. So uh, Black Panther, J. Scott Campbell, definitely look out for, for some, of the, some of the stuff. Uh, my next video coming up in a little while, I'll show some stuff off, I think a little bit more in detail about Black Panther and some of the keys you can get uh, that are minor. Anyways, um, this is a really cool variant, just a third printing variant. Uh, there's, I think it goes to fourth or fifth printing with this, uh, with the, with this comic book. Don't, that's not the actual comic, it was a price tag. I think I picked this up for cover, so it was just kind of cool. Anyways, um, just something to look out for. He's a really good writer, really, really awesome. This was really neat. Um, I didn't know this about the, uh, the, these, these, uh, these, but this is actually a variant. If you look down there on the bottom below, you can see that this is a newsstand variant, and actually they go for quite a little bit of money. Um, I got this, um, I got this at a sale, which was kind of cool. Guess the guy didn't look this one up. So, yep. Yeah, so number nine, love that Kara Zor-El. It's not her first appearance, but it's uh, definitely a really, really nice Michael Turner cover. And uh, I just wanted to show this off. Uh, I found this in a dollar bin recently because it was the Uncanny Avengers number 25, and this is one of those Jim Lee covers. And Rogue, Rogue being one of the, you know, most awesome X-Men ever. <laughs> uh, Jim Lee just knew how to draw them so well. So I, I, I'm a big fan of Jim Lee's run with the X-Men. So definitely happy to have this in my, my PC and didn't have to spend a lot on it. So anyways, on with the haul. So the uh, next part of this haul, uh, I'm back, yeah. <laughs> getting a little bit of a drink so the next part of the haul is going to be uh, basically keys minor keys to look out for a couple variants you want to check out for too if 
you feel like it, like the one that you're seeing right now on the screen. But um, yeah, so I'm only, it may, basically minor keys, a lot of minor keys. Uh, this this video is not as spec heavy as usual that I usually put, because I usually have more speculation books. I'm gonna save that for the next video. All right. So this is uh, Venom number two. This is a Delato cover. Uh, this is the first appearance of Firebug, a uh, very minor villain that's in the comic. Also, um, uh, this is uh, the Lee Price Venom on the, I guess, uh, at the beginning, who later becomes Maniac in, um, I think it's uh, Venom Alpha, um, if I can remember correctly. Anyways, so um, this is Lee Price's Venom, so it's kind of cool. The beginning of that reboot of the Venom stuff, so just a really nice cover. This was kind of, this was gifted to me um, by a company because I bought this comic, actually. And so they sent me, they sent me this one, too, as a, a just a thank you or something, which was kind of cool. Because I think I had problems with the shipping in that by, by that company before because they're from England. So this is X-Men Red. Uh, this is the number one, which is awesome. Um, this is not the Virgin, I don't think. This is just a this is the trade. So or the whatever it's called. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, this is the first. Uh, this is the uh, first appearance of the Trinary. So it's just uh, Trinary Cam. Uh, she's um, she's a new uh, super hero x-men so she's from india so it's kind of cool very very interesting first appearance and beautiful cover you know so um pretty cool man uh i can't remember who did this uh, in hook lee maybe uh might be saying that wrong anyways here's one of my i guess my mini, minor spec books uh silver surfer number one uh i <laughs> just really like this cover and uh this is not really a key just uh just kind of cool to have a number one from the the 90s anyways uh, but it does kind of tie into the fantastic four so that's why i kind of put them together so that's so just a really cool cover i'm i'm specking that that silver surfer and galactus will be in the next huge big crossover movie hopefully with fantastic four and the mcu one day so that's my my spec i guess and probably a lot of people's specs but uh this is a minor key anyways for fantastic four number 490 uh, 480 uh, this is the this is the uh, first appearance of malice so that's uh, the dark side of uh, the invisible woman which is kind of cool uh, this cover is really really uh, wow it's a pretty powerful cover anyways uh, I thought it was uh, thought it was really really insane anyways I got this for a really good price so uh, I think it was like two dollars so um, malice uh, takes over a couple people in the uh, in the Marvel Universe, so definitely a book to pick up if you want to pick up something. It might be a good story. And you never know what they do with that kind of character because it's like a, it's an omnis omniscient force, so it can definitely show up in something else. So this is Nova 29. This is the first appearance of Warbringer. Uh, this was specced a long time ago, so to be in one of the movies, Warbringer. So yeah, maybe it may or may not happen. We'll see. Anyways, just a book to look out for. Uh, definitely a lower print run on this because it was a, a later Nova issue. Here's some spec books for the Miss Marvel movie uh, that's coming out, our Captain Marvel movie. So this is the uh, Miss Marvel number 20. This is the first black costume for Miss Marvel. Thought this was pretty awesome. Uh, picked this up for pretty cheap too. So I love these kind of bronzy, so bronzy age comics. And I got Miss Marvel number two which is the origin of Miss Marvel. Still on the hunt for the Miss Marvel number one. Um, I have one at an LCS. They're asking about $100 for it. Not quite willing to pay that at this point yet. If I can bring them down to maybe 70, I'll probably pick it up. Anyways, I always try to negotiate with my LCS guy because he knows I'm always constantly buying different comics from him. This is the Spectacular Spider-Man uh, 243. And this is the first appearance of Sergei Kravenov with uh, Sergei or Sergei Kravenov, which is Craven the Hunter's son. So, and this is the first appearance of Maguire, which is a cat that Jack O' Lantern uses. He's an evil cat to track and do bad things. Anyway, so there's a small minor villain keys, and uh, like I said before, in the spectacular, it, uh, just with the new Spider-Man movie coming out, uh, Homecoming two. 
they might have Craven's children in it. It could be a possibility. The video before that I've had, I specked about that too, sits in one of the amazing Spider-Mans that his daughter, you never know, like that, they, they play around with that kind of universe sometimes where it might not exactly be um, Craven the Hunter, it might be the children of him going to school with Peter and you never know what happens. That's just how they kind of play with things. This uh, was a book on my 2017 want list. I can check it off. I'm super happy. This is a low grade copy of uh, Batman Family number six. First appearance of the Joker's daughter, Dula Dent, uh, which is Harvey Dent's daughter. Totally, totally have been looking for this for a very long time. Uh, finally found a copy on eBay I was kind of happy with and uh, shot in an offer. Again, sending offers to some of these um, sellers, man, they get really angry with you sometimes. And sometimes they, it come, you can come out with a pretty good book for, for a pretty good price. So uh, definitely uh, check it out. I got a lot of the Batman books with this. I didn't want to show them all because they're just run fillers, but I got a lot of the Batman family. And some of them were pretty beat up, so this was in there too. Really, really happy to have this. So uh, Batman family number six. Okay, so the next few books kind of go together. This is the first appearance of Cobra. Um, this is a villain that is in Wonder Woman stories. <laughs> but also this is a Jack Kirby cover and I love collecting Jack Kirby stuff, especially this, the later stuff, um, well, the earlier, I guess the later stuff when he was on in his years, when he came back to, when he did stuff with DC and he was going back and forth with DC and Marvel. So this is definitely a really, really, really cool key to own. Super cheap if you can find it. Guys, this is uh, something that definitely is affordable and it's out there for you to buy. I think I got I, I got this one for $5. Look for this one. This is a villain I think they might use someday uh, in the DC uh, continuity, maybe with Wonder Woman because of, I'll explain this after. So this here, Okay, so this is the connection to this comic. That's why I picked it up. Um, is Wonder Woman 274. And this is the first appearance of Deborah Domain. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to pronunciate that a little bit. Deborah Domain. Anyways, uh, she is the, I think she's the niece of uh, Priscilla Rich, which uh, Priscilla was the first... Uh, Tiger, uh, uh, the first uh, Tigress, anyways, uh, in the uh, Wonder Woman series. So, um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. And um, she might not they, like again. Uh, d this is the second version, uh, the second version of the character. So the, they might not actually be in the movie. You know, uh, oh no, not Tigress. It's Cheetahs. <laughs> I'm totally thinking of uh, all the Black Panther stuff. So. Yeah, it's, uh, this is the second cheetah, sorry. Second cheetah. And here's the third cheetah, which, you know, again, they might not use this character. This is, again, not a pretty affordable key, or was when I picked it up. I don't know where it's going right now. So just uh, definitely um, definitely a key to look out for, 274. So second version of cheetah, death of the original cheetah. And this is the uh, Barbara M and my... Um, Myver, or I can't pronounce that. Myver, anyways. So this would be Cheetah number three. <laughs> so I picked up two covers for this one, right? So this is an Adam Hughes, which was awesome. Really love that. I saw that in a, a video recently, but uh, I can't remember who it was. If you if you see it and you want some credit, just uh, definitely put it down below. And um, Wonder Woman, uh, this is number nine. And this is the, I think the first cover appearance of Cheetah 3. And this is, a, again, the, her powers come from a stone. It's not just a costume. So she, she has actually powers and she becomes part of a, like a cheetah. The other two cheetah interpretations of the character uh, might end up being, so we don't know who or what, uh, it, what version of the, the Wonder Woman. I think this might be the one that they're kind of going for in the movie. But if it is the other one, it's going to be more goofy, I guess, because she's more she Cobra. See, with the Cobra brainwashes her into becoming uh, the cheetah. She's the kidnapper, and Cobra basically uh, 
brainwashes her and turns her into this assassin. So that that is a possibility of something that could happen in a movie, but this is more likely of the path they'll go with some sort of like transmutation and half cheetah, half person kind of character. Yeah, it'll be kind of fun anyways. So and enough about Wonder Woman. It's kind of sounded a little messy probably coming out of all that. Okay, so uh, Punisher War Journal number two. There's a lot of stuff going specking on. Uh, uh, no, P Punisher War Journal number seven. Sorry. Uh, there's a lot of spec going on uh, right now with the uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider, Frank Castle becoming the Ghost Rider. And uh, just I was looking up just different times Frank Castle became different people before. And in the War Journal number seven, there's two covers for this. He became, that's right, Captain America. <laughs> so so that, that was another time the Punisher has actually been changed into a newer character. I think right now it's War Machine. So that's another one. So anyways, Punisher seems to be one of these characters that ends up getting kind of mixed around a lot. So here's one of my indie books I was just gonna show off. I picked up recently, picked up um, God Country number one, the fourth printing. Donny Cates is super hot. Uh, this is actually a very low printed book because of the fact it's a fourth printing. Uh, there, there's less copies of this. I couldn't actually find a number online. It was really hard to look up. So. But I know it was a uh, it was really low printed book because I went back and I was talking to the LCS that I bought it from. So, anyways, uh, very uh, yeah, lower compared to even the the first the first one. Anyways, uh, for my last book that I'm going to show today, uh, this is Dolls Number One. This is a one in five hundred variant. Um, there was a thirty eight thousand uh, print run on this, so uh, it's a pretty cool variant to have. It's basically a bunch of dolls. They team up. And there's this little bunny on the side. Why I picked it up is because I like Stabity Bunny a lot. So I just thought this was kind of cool and kind of cute. Has that kind of feel uh, that um, uh, Zombie Tramp is going for and zo was going for. So if you're looking for something to read that's kind of cool and might be worth a bit, um, not so much the originals, but uh, Dolls number seven, if you can find any of there's a, I think there's a blue foil and this is the red foil. Uh, they're, they're worth a little bit, you know, so definitely pick it up and uh, definitely check it out if you want to get something that's kind of zombie trampish. All right, <laughs> on with the last part of the haul. Thanks for sticking around, guys. Hey, guys, I'm back again. Uh, this is the last part of the haul. This is my three big books of the week kind of thing. So um, I just wanted to show off some stuff that I picked up recently. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, there was a lot of speculation going around and there's a lot of, uh, hearsay on, uh, the new Teen Titans TV show and that a character might be showing up recently. So I went out and I was looking for this and I've, I was gifted a copy of this before by Alex, the comics hoarder, but I wanted to upgrade. So thank you again, Alex, uh, for your original copy. I still have it and I'm not giving that one away. I just wanted to upgrade another copy. So this is... The first appearance of Jason Todd, Batman 357. Um, this has been showed off quite a bit since that speculation came out with uh, the Teen Titans and basically Jason Todd being part of it. And uh, no one cares about Killer Croc, you know? He's a really underrated character. So uh, definitely got to get some more Killer Croc uh, lovers out there and uh, talk more about that book, okay, guys? All right, so the next book I'm going to show is kind of interesting. So we'll. Uh, We'll, we'll talk about that one. Okay, look at this. All right, so a couple, well, this, a long time ago, I showed off uh, another copy of this book uh, that I had, I had bought in, uh, from the uh, from the United States, anyways, uh, from eBay. So this is Batman Adventures number twelve, <laughs> the Spanish uh, variant version, right? So. This actually came out the same exact, well, not maybe the exact same time and month as, uh, as the original, but it came out in 93. It was, it was roughly released around the same time as the Batgirl, uh, well, the uh, Batman Adventures number 12, first appearance of Harlequin, Spanish version. Anyways, was released the same time as the English version. There was a couple of variants that were different languages. So this one, this one was Really, really cool um, key to own. Also goes for a little bit on eBay now. So um, yeah, I got it for a pretty good deal. I got two of them. Um, 
I bought, I bought two others, so uh, so I have now three in my collection, <laughs> and I have an original. I just wanted to, um, I just basically wanted to have a, another copy of this, and uh, they, I found a seller that was selling it for a pretty good price, and then um, they said it shot, it shot up recently. It's pretty crazy. They, I think the cheapest one I found now so far on eBay is going for about a hundred bucks or something like that, or, or but it's in pretty bad, pretty rough condition. Anyway, so. Um, this is print, uh, CG, according to CGC, this version of the book is a reprint, but like, again, it's, it's hard to, it, it's, I, I don't understand how it is a reprint when it is, if you actually go through the, the splash page, you'll see, um, you'll see it's dated, um, the same time as the other book. So I, I'm not quite sure how they consider it a reprint. Uh, it's CGC for you, so uh, like that's what I've done my research on. I was researching it. It's sort of considered a reprint. Uh, the cover splash page on the front says different. The book still goes for quite a lot. Uh, higher grade copies of the book are going up to $300 online, so um, you can get low grade copies of Batman The Adventures for the same price. So. I don't know. It's up to you. It's your it's your uh, your idea of what is what I guess at that point. Uh, I was just really happy to have it because I have uh, now two. Co well, I have the same I have the same copy a couple of times, but I just wanted to pick up the uh, Spanish variant anyway. So just uh, a semi more affordable key. And this one, you can see what I paid for it. Not really ashamed. I think I got five dollars off the cover. So. Not really too bad. This is my huge big book of the year. Thank you very much. I've accomplished part of my list already this year and I'm super happy. So uh, as a, <laughs> this book I've been looking for forever in the wild. I never can find one. If I can find one one day, I'll be super happy. I want to try to get a direct edition. That's that's a nice copy. Uh, not uh, this PC like the new stand is really great to have I love it. it it's so rough this copy That's why it was I got it for 45. I got him to swing 45 threw in a couple free comics It came out to 50 in total. So um, Yeah, this is the first appearance of squirrel girl, and this is one of my grail books I the, I'm a huge fan of squirrel girl. I have been since the beginning um, I love uh, I love the character. I hope the TV show comes out one day I don't know if it will, <laughs> but you know, honestly, it's uh, just a really cool, cool key to own. Um, and I, I don't think, <laughs> you know, most people probably find this book and they're just like, yeah, whatever. It's just, it's Squirrel Girl, but uh, Squirrel Girl's awesome. Just a really underrated superhero and funny too. So uh, definitely, definitely uh, happy to have this in my personal collection and I'll be keeping this forever. So anyways, I uh, just wanted to thank uh, everybody for sticking around. This uh, video is again a bit long, so um, thank you very much for checking out another haul. I know it's been, uh, it hasn't been very long. I'm trying to spread them out a little bit more. Uh, just I had a lot of books, so I wanted to show these off so I could put them away finally uh, in the comic room. So uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed uh, the video. Uh, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down if you didn't like it. And um, you know what? Honestly, uh, happy hunting. And I'll see you guys soon. And I'll be commenting on your videos because that's why I'm on here to learn from you. All right. Have a good day. Peace out.